اي انسان يسمع هذه الموسيقى أه تعلم على الرقص وبالنسبه لي أه دائما انا أه لما اكون على المسرح دائما احرك يعني اللي ما يدبك لازم لازم يدبك من الاسلوب هذا يعني علم العالم الدبك ان شاء الله دبك از ان عربيك ميوزك اند اتس ا دانس ميوزك اند ذا وورد دبك comes from the verb of to dance, Dabke, you know. And uh, when he's on stage, his mission is to make people dance. Even if they don't know how to do it, he would like to make them dance, Dabke, like this time. أنا بستعمل بستعمل لف بستعمل بلدي بستعمل وحدة بستعمل شوبي يعني وأنا لي أسلوب خاص يعني بالغنى كله بالدبكات كله لي أسلوب خاص يعني غير إيه دبكة is rhythm and rhythm is different between each country and the other country and for him he found a way because he's located between three different cultures and three different countries that interpret Dabke differently. So it's Iraq, Turkey, and Syria. What's uh, for him special about this Dabke that he's doing is mixing the rhythms of Syria and, and Iraq and Turkey and also the minorities that lives in that area. It's also Kurdish and other minorities too. Yeah, all these inspirations come from like love songs and dance songs that are related to love, but also it's so much uh, local to his area. So he used the language that's that's there in that area, so he could communicate with people. الأورك حسب يعني ما بدي الإيقاع فلان يعني مثل لابتوب عندك تعرف لابتوب شلون بتشغلون فلان شي فلان مكان فلان شي فلان مكان أنا ببرمجه لحالي شلون؟ أوكي مثلا أسلوب عمر برنامج عمر لحالي فلان الإيقاع لعمر فلان هون هون هيك 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 أنا يعني حسب برنامج عمر الشيء أوكي He usually works for different people and he said like keyboard is like his own laptop in a way so he really know it well. He like to program it all the time, explore it more, and like make different programs for each singer that he works with. So for Omar, he has a very special kind of programs that he's programming between the beats and the music. Dabke music was a bit slower, and he fastened it up, and he made it more like dance club in music. What's so special about what he's doing is just importing pop beats, pop beats maybe from the Western world, modify it a little bit and apply it to Arabic music, which is not doesn't exist in, in Arabic music. And he always, when he wants to go to make concerts, he enjoy it so much when there is so much crowd. The reason for that that he could communicate with the people. And this is for him very essential. Communication and see them dancing and then he react with them when they are dancing. So this kind of like chain reaction of of feelings between him and the audience. Could you tell us about the moment when you found out that your music was popular or could be popular outside of your own community and how the relationship started with Sublime Frequencies and what that's been like to take this music to outsiders. انشهر بسوريا، انشهر بسوريا اتمنى انه اطلع برات سوريا يعني الشهره برات سوريا، كنت اتمنى انه اسير نجم بهاي الشهره كل ما اتمنى شيء الحمد لله الاقيه قدام.
he was uh, willing to like really be well known singer in his country first so he's now getting well known in that and he said like there should be another step to be more well known after that. and he, he wished that this happened he wanted this to happen. yeah he wanted this to happen and it started and it started to happen they're really happy to be here أنا حي الجمهور الأمريكي والغربي. يعني فخرنا أن نتعرف على البلد. يعني عم يستغربوا كل يوم إنه أول فنان عربي شعبي. بطرب بسوريا عم يطلع هيك جولات. They're really also like proud of it because they kind of made it because it's kind of like the first Arab popular popular singer in the West. And he said the privilege goes to the sublime frequencies to bring them here.